Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe for more Power BI videos. So today we are going to do beginner tutorial number 8. So the topics that we are going to cover today is, one is achieve SQL like using search DAX function and use of search DAX function in if conditions. So let's see how we can do that. In SQL, we use like function in this manner. Select all from table where month like Jan and name like Brit. So as you can see, we use part of the string with the like function that we want to search. So in Power BI, we use search DAX function to achieve this. And first we go to the search DAX documentation, then to the Power BI uh, tutorial. Right, so here the search uh, Power BI DAX documentation. If you go to uh, Power BI documentation and if you search, uh, search here, so you can get this function. So basically, what it does is, so in the function, so we can give the text that we want to find, and then uh, the text within text. That means we can give a column or else we can give a uh, text or a string like this. So we can give that, and then. Uh, start position or the start number so it mentioned this is optional the position in within text at which you want to start the searching so if we define it it will start from the beginning of the string otherwise let's say if we uh, say uh, two or three so if we in, uh, mention it as three then it will start from here uh, it will start the search from here right then if that is not found what is the value that we want to be returned so uh, we can define 0 minus 1 or blank there right so this is how we use the search function now we go to the power bi uh, and see how we can implement this right so now we are in the power bi dashboard so uh, this is my data source so we have a sheet one so which in uh, contains name month marks and subject right so if we drag and drop this here so I add the table and I add these values to this so this is how it looks so now I'm going to apply like function and create a new table right so I go to data and I say new table here I type right I'm going to type January data table use calculate table function and then we have to define the table so that is sheet 1 and now we see how we can use the search function so we use search and the text that we want to find is Jan and then the column is within text would be sheet one month and then the start position we can define okay we'll start from the beginning because Jan is start from the beginning let's say one and then let's say if it is found then uh, not found then we return 0 right so now our function is over so in this it will return the start position so uh, now I'm going to give the filter would be this should be greater than 0 right now let's see what would be the results right so as you can say as you can see now correctly the January months values are displaying so now we'll change the start position and see whether this will work right we'll say the start position as 2 right here as you can see it will not then we'll add let's say July we'll try to add LY so LY the start position is 3 so we'll give first one data will be populated and let's say if we give 3 data will be populated but if we give 4 
data will not be populated. So this is how we use search function as SQL like function uh, in Power BI. Right, so this is just only one like function or the one search function. So we can give more as well. Like let's say how we can do that. So it's just a matter of adding the second filter. It's like search, the text would be let's say Brit and the column should be name. Uh, that means sheet name start person one not found zero right then this should be greater than zero right let's see so here it should be gen start position also need to be changed to one right so as you can see now it is uh, filtered from the name as well so this is how we use uh, search function as the like function in SQL right so search function is the first method of uh, doing that type of a work like uh, like function but we can do same using the filters. so we'll select this one and go to filters and here we can go to month and then we have to select if we select basic filtering it's only just the month that we can select so for that we have to go advanced filtering and here there are so many functions are inbuilt that we can use so here I use uh, contains here I can say gen right let's say we'll apply the filter so as you can see now the values of January month are displaying so I'll increase the size a bit right so January are displaying so it is just a matter of adding filters and also let's say if you want to add more filter so here we can go and select name and here you can select uh, go to advanced filtering and here you can say contains print now if you apply the filter as you can see you can get the same output by using the filters as well right the second part of the tutorial is how to use search function in if condition for that I go to the data and I select sheet table and here I add a new column right so I'm going to type so I write search test so I use uh, this is the column name I use uh, if error so value I use the search function search gen text uh, within the text would be sheet one uh, month then portion would be one then uh, not found then return zero right and then uh, in the if error condition so we have to give if the value is error so I'll give minus one right so let's see uh, what would be the results right as you can see if it is January it will return 1 otherwise it will return 0 now I'll do a small modification to this I go and add wow. results 1 equals this then I'll return return if result 1 greater than 0 I say found otherwise I'll say not found right so as you can see now in the result set it mention it shows if it is January it mentioned as found if it is February it mentioned as not not February but all the other months it's mentioned as not found right so this is how we use uh, or uh, achieve uh, use uh, if conditions 
and search function search dex function right right so thanks to you for watching my tutorial so you have learned today achieve SQL like using search dex function and we can use uh, two methods one is the advanced filtering or else we have to create a new table uh, using search function and then uh, we uh, did an example how to use uh, search dex function uh, in if condition so those are the two uh, things that we have learned today and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more power bi videos and thank you for watching